Now let's take that spinal cord, which runs this way inside the vertebrae and has vertebrae surrounding it. We're going to cut across a cross section. Um, so let's look at that in a couple of videos, starting with the anatomy, including a vertebrae. So this is the, the bony part is a vertebrae. We've got the body, vertebral body. We've got transverse foramen. So what do you know about this vertebrae then? It must be a cervical vertebrae or amen. Where is our um, vertebral foramen? Why the heck isn't there a hole, a giant hole for our vertebral foramen? Because it's this entire thing right here, right? It's filled with our spinal cord. Um, so this entire region would be our vertebral, which I won't learn how to spell apparently, vertebral foramen, spinous process, transverse processes on either side, with articulations for the um, vertebrae on top. Um, that's the, that's the vertebrae protecting this spinal cord. Then we've got, so we'll look at the spinal cord itself in just a moment. That is this heart-shaped portion right here that we will see in more detail. Cross section here. Let's start outside though. Um, we go into that spinal cord where most of the structures are in here and the surroundings of the spinal cord. What is this guy right here? This is a ganglion. And specifically, this one is going to be called a dorsal root ganglion. I'm just going to keep it ganglion for now. This contains cell bodies. There's also going to be axons traveling through there as well, but it is the place in the peripheral nervous system where there is, um, where there are cell bodies. Actually, let me mark for you here. Where is the peripheral nervous system versus the central nervous system? So pretty much as soon as these um, nerves, like what these are, um, exit the spinal cord, this is going to be the NF. Right, in between there is central nervous system. Okay, in addition to the ganglia, we've got nerves coming out. I'm going to label that right here because after they branch, they're going to have a different name, of course. We will get back to that. Um, so we're going to call this a spinal nerve. It's a type of peripheral nerve. We're not in the coming off the brain, so it's not a cranial nerve. Spinal nerve. Okay, then we've got the regions of the um, spinal cord itself. We've got, well, you can see, look at those horns. See them? The horns is this dark part here. The rest of it's white matter. The horns are gray matter. We'll come back to that. Um, then last thing we have is three layers surrounding the spinal cord. What are the names of the layers of the, the I cannot think of it, membranes that surround the brain and spinal cord, the central nervous system? They're called the meninges. So let me label them in general as the meninges. And then I'm going to actually erase one of those um, lines so I can better see the pia matter. It's because there are three meninges, right? So I've erased a bit here. So the spinal cord is this whole, this thing right here. Um, three types of meninges, three layers. The outer layer is this, um, what is that? Like tannish orange. Actually, why don't I do it in tannish orange then? I have a color, it's kind of like that. This outer one, just like in the brain, right? So I'm not going to talk about this slowly. Dura matter, hardest. You can see it kind of actually encases the, the, the ganglia as well. Hard dura matter. Then we've got a light blue um, layer here. That is our arachnoid matter. Like spiders. Um, there is a subarachnoid space in there with these um, the stringy spider-like connective tissues. 
um, which is subarachnoid space, where there is cerebral spinal fluid, just like the brain. Lastly, um, in pink is my pia, pia matter very closely associated with the brain and spinal cord um, surrounding very directly. Okay, that's what I got for a cross section of the spinal cord um, with the vertebrae. We are going to spend more time, I'm gonna circle this again now, just zooming in to this right here and um, talking again about the horns, the white matter, and more.